concern about the release of violent offenders. That bill now moves to the Senate for a vote. If it becomes law, the governor would appoint the parole board director herself. It would also establish sentence minimums that inmates must serve before becoming eligible for parole. New tonight, the community is coming together to honor two Birmingham police officers injured in the line of duty. A fundraiser for them is still going on right now downtown. CBS 42's Corey McGinnis is live there with more. And Corey, all of this aimed at helping Birmingham's finest in their time of need. Well, Sergeant Johnny Williams with the Birmingham Police Department tells me that one of those officers are actually at work right now, but it's not stopping this local band from raising money for medical expenses. It's a group of talented musicians who found yet another way to help out. Giving back to the people who give to us. Lou Garrison is a part of the band Legal Limit. He says music is the language of feeling and passion. Friday night, they played as a part of the community fundraiser and work play for two officers that were injured in the line of duty. Blessed is the only word I can come up with uh, to try to do whatever we can to help these officers. In November, Officer Tacove Bowden was seriously injured when he was hit by a vehicle on I 59 while investigating a car crash. Both of his legs are fractured, and Bowden hasn't been able to work since the accident. He's still battling. Um, the fact that he's still able to battle to try to save his leg is a good thing. Sergeant Johnny Williams with Birmingham Police says the department hopes Bowden pulls through and gives us an update on Officer Lucas Alums, who was shot while investigating car break ins downtown in January. The same night, Sergeant Waitasha Carter was gunned down. That officer Alums is doing quite well. He has recovered from his injury and he just recently returned to work. That's why Legal Limit wants to give back. Money raised will go towards medical bills for both officers as well as an ADA accessible vehicle for Officer Bowden. Garrison says it's extra special to give back through music because that's what feeds the soul. To, to know that uh, we can give back in just some small way, it, it warms your heart. Now, tickets were only 15 bucks, so if you do still want to contact, if you still want to actually help out, uh, you're encouraged to contact the Birmingham Police Department. We're live in downtown Birmingham tonight. Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank you.